If you follow the channel here, you know that we are big fans of Kia. We like a lot of the things that they are doing with the cars they're putting on the market today. Well, today here on Rumblestrip.net and 10 Minute Test Drive, we're going to have a look at one of their entry level cars. A car that's, you know, the young kids are buying. A lot of first time people are buying. No need for the hamster damps, but it is the Kia Soul. So Richard Hammond notwithstanding not being available for this, insert your joke here and if you don't get that then, I don't know, you're not a car person I guess, That's which is fine. So the Kia Soul is a uh, entry level car, it's, you know, is it a crossover, uh, small wagon, I don't know how exactly how you classify this thing, technically it is a truck. Um, you know, it sort of fits in that same genre as the uh, Scion XB. Is it, uh, you know, it, 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 is it good transportation, good value, good mileage, high utility? Um, you know, these are the questions that people are asking when they look at this thing. And, and the answer for most of that is yes, actually. Um, the value question we'll touch on, it's, you know, it's, it's not a blow away value for this thing, but it's good value. The utility factor is fairly good. Um, you know, there's plenty of room for, for four people in here. Um, does it have a lot of carrying room? That's another subject entirely because with all, all four, you know, with the back seat up, there really isn't a lot of room uh, in the back for carrying things. Uh, for example, uh, our backpack that we carry a lot of our camera equipment in, if you turn it sideways with the back seat flipped up, it pretty much covers that whole width. Not much, but I think we have a picture of that we can we can show you. With the seats folded down, you know, there's a decent amount of of space back there. Not anything that'll blow you away, like, oh my god, I can't believe how big this is in here. But it's it's useful for carrying, you know, small stuff. Or if you want to throw a bike back there, it would be tight. Uh, you'd probably have to pull off the front wheel and, you know, move it around a little bit. But I'm sure you could fit fit something back there. Um, but you know, for normal everyday driving, and if you got to go pick up a few things from the grocery store, it's it's perfectly fine. And as we said, four people fit in this thing very nicely. Driving this car, it's good. Um, you know, our, our our only real issue with it is because it's such a short wheelbase that the ride can be a little bit choppy. But in general, it it rides really well over decent pavement. Um, you know, there's not a ton of noise, which you tend to get in big open vehicles like this. I mean, you, sure, it's not dead quiet, but then again, you're not paying thirty-five and forty thousand dollars for it either. Uh, something much closer to twenty. The materials in here are fairly good. It uses a uh, you know our, our model here has like a leatherette material on the seats uh, and on the steering wheel. The use of hard plastic is there, obviously, at this price level you're going to have it, uh, but it's really in your high contact areas. The rest of it is, you know, decent materials, some soft touch, or at least uh, harder materials are, are well-grained and, and attractive. They don't have that real shiny plastic look to it. One big up for this car is the level of connectivity. Um, our car is equipped with the navigation system, with backup camera, and the, and the better stereo. It's a $2,500 option, and uh, it's well integrated into the system. We had zero issues uh, doing Bluetooth on an iPod, on our iPhone, syncing up our iPhone. Uh, we used the uh, built-in navigation on a uh, trip where we had to go buy some car parts. And it's good. Uh, the voice system's a little, meh, but um, you know, what do you, it's it's okay. I mean, the, the the directions were fine. It's just the the voice seems about two generations old for for navigation compared to even what's built into uh, 
you know, your built-in iPhone navigation, or if you use Google Maps on your Android or iPhone, just, you know, small, small minor detail. But, uh, you know, all the controls that you need are on the wheel. Um, you know, it, it's, re it's, it's well laid out. No complaints. The stereo in it, it's okay. You know, not great. Um, a lot of people will want to upgrade. A lot of people won't care, but it's good enough, you know. Acceleration. It's there. It's not slow, <laughs> but it's not exactly quick either. It's adequate. You know, can you get onto the highways and merge? Yeah, you won't have a problem with that. You'll maybe wish there was a little bit more power to it, but yeah, again, this isn't a performance vehicle. This is a daily driver, commuting car, get you places you need to go. If we were to ding it on anything, though, it would be a little bit of the fuel economy. It's a two-liter four-cylinder. Um, you know, it's a six-speed automatic. And the EPA mileage on this is 23 city, 28 highway, 25 combined. And that's pretty much what it gets. We're getting uh, right about 25 and a half, 26 in mixed driving. Uh, saw 28, 29 on our, on our highway drive where we, uh, like I said, when we had to go chase some parts and you know, about 80 miles each way. In a vehicle this size, you would hope that it would be a little bit better. You're looking for something in the 30s. And that really is about the only area we could really ding this. On the highway, it rides okay. As we said, if you get some choppy pavement, it's, yeah, I mean, it's not bad. It's just you notice it because of the short wheelbase. So in general, not the longest review of this thing, but it, it's an honest vehicle. It, it is what it is. It's a uh, $20,000 20, $20, base price, twenty three five with the options that we have, which as we said were uh, the better stereo with the navigation uh, and with serious traffic and, and all kinds of other stuff. Uh, it's a pretty standard package here. Twenty three five, good value? Yes, good value. Great value? No. But is this a solid car that you could drive? Sure. I mean, Kia's got the 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Um, I mean, it's not all-encompassing, but it's a pretty solid warranty. Um, it's a safe car. Uh, sorry, off the top of my head, I can't remember if it's four or five stars. But, okay, the difference between four stars and five stars is, you know, did the government official like where the... the overhead lights were essentially is, is about the difference of it um, you know it's it's a push button start you've got proximity key in, in this model I mean it's got a lot of really good features so yes the value is there um, now it's fighting up and when you get to that twenty three twenty four thousand dollar price level you're getting into an area where you're sort of getting in between classes um, we just uh, wrapped up a drive on a Toyota RAV4. That will be coming soon. Uh, it's a bigger vehicle for, you know, similar money, at least on the low end. This is a higher end equipped vehicle, so it's a little hard to compare the two, but you, the, they might be cross shopped. Um, the Scion, well, it's getting a little long in the tooth. That's, uh, you know, that's going to be replaced here very soon, so. Uh, we'll see what the next X, uh, XB looks like, but all in all, for if this is a first vehicle that you're buying or you're a parent looking for a, a vehicle to buy for your kids, Kia Soul, it's, it's a really good vehicle and you can see why Kia sells so many of them.